हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम यू आर माय यूट्यूब चैनल ए के वाई बायोटेक आज हम बात करेंगे कुछ इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द सेल साइकिल एंड सेल डिवीजन जो कि ये पार्ट टू है पार्ट वन में हमने लगभग 30 क्वेश्चन डिस्कस किए थे नियर अबाउट थर्टी क्वेश्चन हमने डिस्कस किए थे जो कि काफ़ी इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन थे और आज इस वीडियो में हम नेक्स्ट जो है नियर अबाउट फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करेंगे जो कि काफ़ी इम्पॉर्टेंट है फॉर सेल साइकिल एंड सेल डिवीजन क्योंकि हमेशा से काफ़ी क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं इन आई सी आर नेट इन ए कल्चर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी में सेल साइकिल और सेल डिवीजन से बहुत ही छोटे छोटे मतलब बहुत ही इजी इजी क्वेश्चन होते हैं जो हम ध्यान नहीं देते हैं पढ़ते वक्त और वो गलत होने के चांसेस बहुत ज़्यादा होते हैं सेल साइकिल और सेल डिवीजन से हमेशा की चार या पाँच क्वेश्चन रहते ही हैं फ्राम मियासिस फ्राम माइटोसिस एंड फ्राम द सेल साइकिल जैसे जो इसके चेक पॉइंट होते हैं तो बिना किसी देरी किए चलिए इस वीडियो को स्टार्ट करते हैं और आगे इस तरह की ढेर सारी जो आ, वीडियो मिलती रहेंगी कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन कुछ क्वेश्चन जो पहले पूछे जा चुके हैं प्रीवियस ईयर के क्वेश्चन वो सब सारा मैं धीरे धीरे कंपाइल कर रहा हूं और मैं कोशिश करूंगा दो या तीन दिन में आपको एक एक वीडियो में देता रहूंगा आप पढ़ते जाइए जैसा कि आपको पता है कि विजुअल मेमोरी जो होती है सबसे स्ट्रांग मेमोरी होती है आप जब भी आपके पास खाली टाइम हो आप ये वीडियो देखिए आप, आपको ये क्वेश्चन मेमोराइज हो जाएगा तो आप अच्छे से एग्जाम में अटैम्प्ट कर लेंगे इसको तो अगर आप चैनल पर नए हैं तो इसको सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिएगा साथ में बेल आइकन को जरूर प्रेस करिएगा जिससे जैसे भी मैं नया वीडियो कोई अपलोड करूंगा उसका नोटिफिकेशन आपको पहले पहुंच जाएगा तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू सेल साइकिल सेल डिवीजन आइडेंटिफाई द मियोटिक स्टेज इन व्हिच द होमोलोगस क्रोमोसोम सेपरेट while the sister chromatids remain associated at their centromeres it is anaphase 2 next at which stage of meiosis does the genetic constitution of gametes is finally decided this is decided in the anaphase 1 next microtubules from opposite poles of the spindle attached to the pairs of homologous chromosomes during this happens in metaphase 1 see all these questions are very important they have been asked many times in the examination kindly commit it to your memory exchange of genetic material between two homologous chromosomes occurs in this occurs in patch team next exchange of genetic material between non sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes in patch team stage it is facilitated by this is by recombinase next which of the following is not a phase of karyokinesis this is not a phase of karyokinesis that is the interkinesis next the specialized kind of cell division that reduces the chromosome number by half results in the production of haploid phase in the life cycle that is meiosis next meiosis it does not involve two interphases coming up to the next question meiosis kindly note it down that what happens during the meiosis it has only a single cell cycle of dna replication moving on to the next question the event of recombination will occur in between this will occur in between non sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes next compaction of chromosomes occur in this occurs in lactotin next the division of prophase in the five phases is done on the basis of so the division of prophase as we all know it is divided into five phases and this the basis for this is the chromosomal behavior next which of the following does not belong to prophase 1 leptotene zygotene dikinesis interkinesis this we all know that is the interkinesis next the stage at which chromosomes start pairing 
So pairing, this is started during the zygotene stage. Synaptonemal complex is visible under this, the synaptonemal complex, as we all know, this is formed in the zygotene stage and this is visible by the help of the electron microscope. The synapsed homologous chromosomes form both tetrad and bivalent. Note it down. Next, bivalent is clearly visible at which stage? This is visible at the patchetine stage. Next, which of the following is the shortest phase among the following? So, this is zygotene. This is the shortest phase of uh, the prophase 1. Next, the appearance of recombination nodule is a characteristic feature of this recombination nodule. It appears during the patchetine stage. Coming up to the next question. So, recombination nodules are sites over non-sister chromatids. Note it down that this is the non-sister chromatids. Next, recombination of genetic material occurs due to this recombination, it occurs due to crossing over. We know it. Recombination completion leads to, it leads to chromosome linked at the sites of crossing over. Next, recombination completes in. So, recombination, it finally completes the end of patchetine. The dissolution of the synaptonemal complex is the recognition event of this is the beginning of diplotene. Coming up to the next. Chromosomes are fully condensed and the meiotic spindle is assembled to prepare the homologous chromosomes for separation. This is the characteristic feature of which of the following option. So, we have to select the option that where the chromosomes are fully condensed. Note it down. Next. The meiotic spindle is assembled to prepare the homologous chromosomes for separation. And this happens during the diakinesis. Next, what happens in interkinesis? There no DNA replication occurs. Bivalent is equivalent to. This is also an important question. Bivalent, what it is equivalent to? This constitutes of four chromatids in total. Tetrad. How many kinetochores are there in a tetrad? That is 4. Next, prophase 2. So, some of the options are here. What exactly in uh, prophase 2? So, it is simpler than prophase but complex than prophase 1. Complex than prophase 1 and uh, simpler than prophase 1. All of these. As we all, all know that prof, prophase 2, it is simpler than prophase 1 because prophase 1, it involves many of the stages. Uh, as we all know, leptonema, zygonema, diplotene, diakinesis, they all took place in the prophase 1, take place in prophase 1. Next is tetrad of cells is a result of, this is a result of meiosis 2. How many tetrads are found in meiotic prophase in an organism with a diploid number of 12. So, it is 6. Fruit flies have a diploid number of chromosome of 8. How many chromosomes will be there in the tetrad of cells? So, if a fruit fly have a diploid number of chromosome is equivalent to 8, so the tetrad of cells, they will have the 4. Next, which of the following events occur first in meiosis? Is it terminalization, crossing over, disjunction, or synapsis? So here it is synapsis. It takes place during the zygotene stage. Next, what will be number of kinetochore core in two bivalents? So the number of the kinetochore in two bivalents that is equal to 8. Next, what will be the number of centromeres in two tetrads? So, the number of centromeres in two tetrads, that will be 4. Coming up to the next question. The separation of homologous chromosomes 
while attachment of sister chromatids remain associated at the centromere is a characteristic feature of the following this is a feature of the anaphase 1 so the during the anaphase 1 what exactly occurs separation of homologous chromosomes while attachment of sister chromatids remain associated the sister chromatids they do not dissociate only this the separation of the homologous chromosomes it takes place during the anaphase 1 kindly note it down this is an important question it has been asked many times in the examination what does result in dyad of cells that is cytokinesis 1 next the stage between two meioses is interkinase